Some of the most popular aspects of Band in a Box are its soloist and melodist features. The soloist feature can create a solo for you in a variety of styles, over any chord changes you can possibly think to enter into Band in a Box. And the most unique thing of all, every time you use the soloist you'll get a completely different solo. The melodist also creates melodic lines for you, but it can also create a chord progression from scratch, generate an intro, it can even come up with a title for you. Essentially, it can give you an entire brand new song in seconds flat. There are many soloist and melodist sets available for Band in a Box, providing you with more than 200 individual soloists and over 100 individual melodists. The Band in a Box Mega Pack comes with every single soloist and melodist, or you can purchase the set separately. At our website, www.pgmusic.com, you can check out any of the soloist or melodist sets, and on the individual pages, you can listen to samples from each of the sets in MIDI format or Windows Media Audio. Now let's see some of the soloists in action. Let's have a look at some of the newer soloists. Every soloist set comes with a number of demo songs, so let's open one from soloist set number 11, which focuses on the trumpet. Let's have a look at the fast Winton soloist. If we press the soloist button, we see that it automatically brings up the correct soloist because we have Auto Suggest selected. If I press OK, then Band in a Box automatically generates a solo based on the currently entered chord changes. And if I do exactly the same thing again, you get a completely different solo. You can also view the solo in notation as it's being played. Let's listen to another solo from soloist set number 11. We'll pick Medium Satch. Of course, you certainly are not limited to only soloing over the changes in the demos. You can enter any chords you want. I'll show you. I'll press New to clear the chord sheet, and then I'll start entering some chord changes. I'll enter B flat major 7, but I'll just type a J because that's a chord shortcut. And as you can see, as I enter it, it appears here. And when I press Enter, it appears here. Then I'll type G7 Alt for an altered chord. CM7 for C minor 7, F7, D7 Alt, G7 Alt, C, M7 for minor 7, F7, B flat, J for major 7 again, B flat 6 over D, E flat 6, E diminished, D I M, F7, G7 Alt, C, M7, and F7. Then I'll set the song to be 8 bars long by clicking here and then clicking on the 8th bar. And I'll set the tempo at 140 beats per minute by raising it here. Then I can press the soloist button. And as we see, the same soloist is still selected. So when I press OK, Band in a Box creates a solo based on the changes I just entered. Now let's have a look at some other soloist sets. Soloist set 10 is ballads and guitar soloing. Many musicians will agree that soloing over slow ballads can often be more difficult than soloing over faster tunes. You really have to make every note count when you play ballads. These soloists are great for working on your ballad chops. This set also features some great guitar soloing. Check out this fast Django demo.
or a tenor sax soloing over some ballad changes. Soloist Set 9 is a combination of blues guitar, country piano, and pop eighths and sixteenth soloing. Let's have a listen to a pop shuffle swing sixteenth note solo. And I'm going to use this soloist to show you a few other things that you can do with the soloist feature. A great way to practice your soloing is to have a solo play for four bars and then you solo for four bars trying to emulate the other player. This is called trading fours and you can use the soloist feature to do this. I'm going to open the soloist and here in solo mode I'm going to select trade fours and I'll press OK. And as you can see, the solos creates a solo for four bars, and now you would have an opportunity to solo. And then the solos plays again. And if you're finding that the solos are a little too complex, and you'd like to start out with something a bit simpler, you can try lowering the maximum number of notes in one beat. I'll go back into the soloist and press the edit button here and you can see there's an area here maximum notes in one beat I'll change that to one press OK press OK again to create a new solo And we can hear that in the resulting solo, there is only ever one note within any given beat. There are also other settings that you can play with in the soloist. If your song has a melody, you can have the soloist solo around the melody only playing when there is space in the melody. You can also choose when you want the soloist to play, whether it's right from the beginning or only when the second chorus comes around. You can pick the specific instrument. You can pick if you want it to be harmonized, a style change. There are so many options to choose from. Soloist Set 5 is an all bluegrass soloist set. You can purchase it by itself or you can combine it with our 50 song bluegrass midi fake book. Let's have a look at some of the songs in the Bluegrass MIDI Fake Book. Here is Bill Cheatham, a classic bluegrass standard. And as with any of the soloists, you can enter any chords you like. I'll show you. First I'll press the New button to clear the chord sheet, and then I'll enter the chords to Will the Circle Be Unbroken? And I'll change the number of bars to 8. And now I'll play this with first with just the rhythm section. Now I'll pick one of the bluegrass soloists. We'll use Soloist 198, the Bill Monroe Band, and I'll have it change instrument every chorus. And now you hear that Band in a Box has started with a guitar solo.
And now the banjo has taken over. And finally, a fiddle takes us to the end. Now let's have a look at the melodist feature. The soloist created some great melodic lines if you enter your own chord progression, or if you use one of the demos provided, but what if you want Band in a Box to create everything for you? That's where the melodist comes in. The melodist has the ability to generate an original set of chords for you, create an intro for your song, you can even combine it with the soloist, and it can generate a title for your song. If all of these items are checked, you are given a complete and completely original song. And even with all of the settings left exactly the same, you'll get a totally new song every time you use this. Let's have a look. We'll take one of the melodists from Melodis Set 3, Bluegrass. We'll pick number 125, Fast Banjo Bluegrass. I'm not going to tweak any settings at all, I'm just going to let Band in a Box do its thing. So you see, we get a four bar intro, and then the melody starts. And you can see the melody being played on the on screen piano in red. You can see that it came up with the title. And now we're going to open the melodist again, and we're going to pick exactly the same melodist, leaving all of the settings the same. and we're given a completely new song. And any of the songs that the Melodist creates for you are entirely yours to use any way you like, royalty free. And once you've got a song that you like, you can continue to use the Melodist to tweak the song. For example, if you don't like the melody that the Melodist came up with for the B section, you can have it just change that section. I'll show you how. Simply highlight the area in question and open the Melodist again. Because we highlighted that area, it has changed this to only part of a song rather than the whole song, and it has entered the settings here. I'll press OK, and it will start playing just before that section. and we have an entirely new melody for this section. We can also change the title on the main screen by pressing this button. We can keep pressing it until we come up with the title we like. Now, the melodist can create the chords, as we saw here, but it can also simply create a melody over any chord changes you may care to enter. I'll show you. I'll press New to clear the chord chart and I'll enter a blues in B-flat. B-flat 6, E-flat 7, B-flat 6, B-flat 7, E-flat 7 for two bars, B-flat 6, G7 Alt, C minor 7, F7, and then I'll enter a substitute for a 3-6-2-5 turnaround here. I'll enter D half diminished, D-flat 7 Alt, C minor 7, B7 alt, and we'll end on B flat, major 7. I'll set the tempo to 200 by clicking there and typing in 200, and then I'll set the number of bars in the chorus to 12. Now we'll go into the Melodist. We'll pick number 119, Bebop a la Shearing. We don't want the chords changed, so we'll remove the check here. And this will give us a good example of how the soloist and the melodist can be combined. The melodist will create the melody in the first and last choruses, and the soloist will create the solo in the middle. And we can pick a title for our song by pressing the title button. 
and we have a wonderful song that is a combination of our own imagination and the wizardry of the melodist and the soloist. I hope you enjoy all the possibilities that the Band in a Box soloist and melodist have to offer. Happy music making! <laughs>